We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Hokies offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. By 52, by 52. They bring him down around the 31-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 45. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Second and eight, ball on the 48-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He scrambled. And now he's got room to run. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Gaining five on the play. Third down. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Solo out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down. My 52. Down. 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 Motion two. Motion, motion two. Check motion, motion, motion. motion. <laughs> Throws it and it's tipped away. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. It's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it. And down he goes to 37-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's taken down at the 36. From the 36 yard line, second down. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's in trouble. This quarterback is tough as man. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Virginia Tech is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Get 
gets out to around the 48. to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled the 24-yard line. Four guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Tackle for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Bring him down at the 37. Gain of seven on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They get five yards on the play. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Duke leads 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And he's tackled right away. Game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Tackle made, round the 
46-yard line. The fullback is a safety valve for the quarterback most times, so it's pretty reassuring to know you've got a safety valve as talented as this guy. Here's the eighth play of the series. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52's the mic. Larry, Larry. Gains his way to the 20 yard line. Gain of 16 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. He fights forward to about the 20. No that makes it second and 10. Tenth play of the drive. Gets out to around the 12. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Now he's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. He gets it up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Duke up a point. Ready? Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down to the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 28. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's hit immediately. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. The Cavalry's coming. Got an opening. He's to the 40. Ball is loose. Fumble. He goes out of bounds at the 47. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike 52. Mike. On the ground with the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That brings him second and five. That's 
Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. Throws to the tight end, and that ball is incomplete. Third and five. Ball on the 48. He's scrambling. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Duke's going to use their first time out of the half here. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Duke with a one-point lead. Got it. And he goes down quickly. And he can't get away from the pressure. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel in, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. goes downtown. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From their own 32-yard line, second down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's taken down at about the 41. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Duke is up one. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Second and six. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Well, we've played a half of football. The Blue Devils lead it by one.
great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 75-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 14 to six. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The Blue Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop them for a loss of one. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. the stop at about the 25 yard line. So consider that a big stop. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. That's a game of two on the ball. That makes it so. holds an eight point advantage. Throws complete. He's got room to work. around the 38. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the sack makes this a second and long. Next in. 
He throws. Makes a grab and steps out right away. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He's under pressure. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He lets it fly. What a pick! Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. They line up at the five. First down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's tackled at the six-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second and nine. Ball on the six-yard line. We've got a safety. When the quarterback is dropping back into his own end zone, it's got to be a quick release. Otherwise, you give the pass rush enough time to get to him. And you can see the result right here.
gets out to about the 32 yard line. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That makes it third and 11. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 31. Another third down upcoming here. That'll make it third and nine. Now, man, tackle for a loss. A four yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll come back out looking to erase the rotten taste, giving up that safety must have left. The defense is going to be coming out here on the field thinking they have their opponent's number. So somebody from this offense will have to show them something to get them to respect what they can do. Makes it out to about the 29. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52's the mic. There you go. 288. Tackle made around the 29 yard line. The defense were playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for them. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's tackled at the 34. Number six makes the tackle at the 34 yard line. First down. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. Duke's got a 10 point lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Roger, Roger! 52's in Mike. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch the run. He might have a chance. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. This is a team that knows when and how to attack on the ground. They have a very good sense for what plays will work when. So we've got a first down after a great running play. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a deal. That brings them second and five. Nice run up the middle. 
around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Toss out to the halfback, and he stuffed immediately. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 17 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. From the 17 yard line. First down. And he's taken down at the 18. This is the 10th play of the drive. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 23. Less than three minutes in the game. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Brad, I would anticipate the defense putting 11 defenders up close to the line of scrimmage, doing everything that they can to stop the running game and try to strip that ball away from the running back. An aggressive offense might try to take advantage of that with a play action, fake that run up the middle, then maybe try to find a tight end, maybe downfield or a wide receiver. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. He makes his way to about the 32. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring, bring up second, second and 12. 12. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They give to the tailback. Nice run to the left there.
He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Tech staff and really this entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game, but one thing about them is they're, they're a team, and even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.